my name is Kate and welcome back to Habits of a Modern Hippie. Yes. So it is Samoyed Sunday today and I have both my girls with me. If you haven't been here before, this one is Miko. She's got a black nose. And this is Tinkerbell and she's got a pink one. Today I'm going to show you a super simple recipe that only requires just a few ingredients for a do-it-yourself all-natural dry shampoo for dogs. If you have a dog that it is a pain in the butt to wash, aka giant fluffies, um, a little bit of dry shampoo can work really well for you. All the ingredients in this dry shampoo will make your dog smell and feel good, not just because we're adding a little bit of scent with some essential oils, but also the other ingredients take out some of that stink, they absorb it, and get it out of the air. But yeah, so let's go ahead and get started. Tinkerbell decided that she didn't want to be filmed anymore today, and Miko is all about it. So Meeks is still here, and Tink, if you can see her, is right back there in the corner. But I'll show you what we'll need today. We're gonna need cornstarch, one cup of that, a half a cup of baking soda. Both of these, these full jars are maybe a dollar or two dollars. Um, I got mine at Whole Foods, but you can get it at any supermarket. Then I add lavender essential oil. My lavender bottle is giant because I have my own line of bath and body care where I use lavender essential oil all the time, but you can get little bottles as well. And then tea tree oil. Tea tree oil is really great for itchy skin. If dogs are having scratching issues, hot spot issues, stuff like that, that can help heal up. And this one I just got at Natural Grocer, but you can really easily get this brand online as well. I will be using a sifter today. This one is from Ikea, super inexpensive. Um, you don't need a sifter, you can absolutely just use a spoon. This just makes sure that it's not super clumpy. Last but not least, you'll need a shaker of some sort. You can use one of those cheese or pepper shakers that you see at a pizza shop, but I'm using a mason jar and I'm gonna use a hammer and a nail just to poke some holes in the top of that because I have plenty of these lying around the house. But yeah, super simple, so let's get going. All you have to do is add your cornstarch, and your baking soda into a bowl. Go ahead and take a big spoon and mix that around just so everything gets well combined. And then you're gonna add about five drops, <laughs> Miki! And then you're gonna add about five drops each of your essential oils. So I'm putting about five in of my tea tree. And because this bottle is so big, and I just looked for my dropper for about 20 minutes and couldn't find it very carefully. Meeks. And if you put too much essential oil in, that's all right. We wanna make sure it's still shakeable, but if it's a little too wet, that's totally fine. Just give it a good mix. And because it's only a few drops of each oil, it should be totally okay. Just will smell a little bit stronger. Make sure that this is mixed really well and that there are no clumps from those essential oils. I'm gonna take my sifter and just spoon my mixture in. Now using that sifter, I'm just gonna sift all of those ingredients back in to the bowl and that will make sure that there are no clumps. And yes, there's going to be a little bit of dust coming out, it's totally fine. To see if the smell is to your liking, because you can always redo this, add in more essential oils if that feels good to you. I sometimes add a little bit extra lavender essential oil because lavender is really good for calming down anxiety and both of my girls are super anxious. They have been since they were super young, but that's always a nice thing to add in. Next, we make the shaker if you don't have one already. All you need to do is poke a few holes in the top of your mason jar with a hammer and some nails. And if you'd like, you can pop on a label as well. To use this dry shampoo, it's super easy. All you have to do is shake a little bit over your pup's coat, rub it in really, really well, and you're good. Because sometimes your dog will shake and this can get a little dusty, I'd recommend doing it outside or in the bathtub just so you don't have to clean up too much after yourself. 
After you're finished making your jar and labeling it, you can go ahead and spoon everything into your shaker and you are ready to go. Now you can add the date to the jar, but you really don't need to. This stuff lasts for a really, really long time. All of the ingredients, the sell-by dates and the good till dates are years in the future. So just keep it out of the sunlight, keep it in a cool place, and it should last you for ages. And if you have the amount of dog for her and dogs that I do, you'll definitely go through this really quickly. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure that if you liked this video, you will give it a thumbs up. And if this is your first time here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button below. I would love to know what are your tips and tricks when it comes to keeping your pooches clean in between baths. Let me know in the comments below. And also if you have any other do-it-yourself things that you want me to show on this channel, make sure to include those below. I love looking at your comments. And Get in some ideas for my next videos. Tinkerbell is acting very sleepy right now. So we'll go ahead and say goodbye and see you again soon. Bye. There was a hippie in there. It has the same squeaker inside. So it doesn't squeak. You shake it and it makes really weird noises and she loves it. Yes, there you go. <laughs> Tinkerbell is like mostly asleep down here.